All right, so there's going to be some brief information regarding the Tengu Suba and the Gemstone Kasaki. So basically, when you get a voyage, you know, after you've done 6 million distance and you basically completed Guardians of the World, which is the whole storyline up to that point, and this is what it's going to look like. In order to even get those Subas and Kasakis, you have to had completed ports. So, 6 million distance, all the stories are done, all the clues are done, before you could even start getting the roles in the voyages to get those. They say the Exiles point you need, but in reality, having all the other clues, you're already going to have it done by the time you get this far into ports. So... That's why I say that. So on screen, I'm going to show you storylines that you're going to already had done. So you see that the first two missions, once you get this far with the Tengu memory and the exile stories, that this is where you see the first gemstone and the Suba. During regular standard voyages, you have a chance to get the next one to make the offhand or the next one, basically. So, you can see here that I got actually got a roll to actually get the Tsuba so I can make the next one. And regarding the mission names for the Tsuba and the Kasaki, they're on screen. And you can see in my inventory right now that you can see the Tsuba here, which what you get from the stories. So, you can make one of them, but you're going to need to keep doing voyages to get the next one. It's the same thing, just like with the offhand Sea Singer, it's the same thing. I had to wait around until that Kasaki voyage came around, so now you can get both of them. So essentially, you're just going to wait again to get the next Suba so you can make the sword. So overall, just regarding the resource of just getting this, I would just say, yeah, wait around or... Just keep re-rolling your missions, and then you'll get it. 